Today I have an EDC gear review of the KeySmart Pro. This is a key organizer and kind of like a Swiss Army knife for your keys. It can fit up to 14 keys according to the manufacturer. It also features tile integration which helps you locate your keys with your smartphone and vice versa. And even a small flashlight. Thanks to KeySmart for sending this to me to take a quick look at and tell you a bit more about. So here is the package that it comes with. It's a nice retail package. It's got the little hanger, nice picture of the product and really emphasizes the tile integration on this model here. Keep view your keys live on a map, find your phone, holds up 14 keys. Then on the back it really goes more into the actual tile integration and the different um, options that you have that it comes with for accessories. Or the KeySmart Pro comes in here in this uh, cardboard holder and without keys it slips in here and basically comes with what you see. You get a micro USB cable for charging and then you get the KeySmart and it's got these little discs that come with it to space out between your keys and to make up for other devices and you can put them key to key if you want to but I kind of like the spacers because I thought it helped organize it and make them slide a little bit better. And you do get the integrated bottle opener here, which is an important tool in my opinion. And in addition to being a bottle opener, this is how it connects to other keys, devices, fobs, um, bigger car keys like most modern cars have, things like that. There are other accessories available on the website that you can purchase, um, such as the nano scissors, USB 3 flash drive, a uh, small pocket clip, quick disconnect carabiner, or a mag connect and the mag connect here to me looks the most interesting it's something i would add on myself as would allow me to more easily disconnect my car keys from this which is something i frequently do on the weekends and something else here these are dummy keys they aren't keys i actually own that's not a great idea to show your actual keys on the internet so my initial physical impressions of this here it's made from a uh, satin white plastic and it's a little bit flexible it's not bad um, but not super rigid either you've got metal hardware here it's a nut basically and then a it's got a collared sleeve and then a bolt basically it goes this side something about the bolt here i'm not a fan of flathead screws i understand you could use a key or a coin to get in here and unscrew it if you need to on the go but if anybody you've used flathead screws you know they're just kind of a pain i ended up using my uh electric screwdriver here to undo them and redo them and you know it just wants to slip out these are fairly long screws, so doing it by hand is a little bit tedious. The uh, top side here is where all the electronics are. You've got a micro USB port to charge the device. Then you've got your light. Not a very bright light, but it's enough light to locate your keyhole on your front door or something like that and get into your house. If you double press, it'll stay on for 10 seconds. Then putting your keys on this is easy enough, and I'll insert some pictures here of what that looks like on the inside. They say it holds 14 keys, seven on each side, but I think that would make it quite difficult to put together. I struggle with putting four on each side, and I figured this connection for me is about perfect. I've got three on one side, one on the other with this um, bottle opener here. It's just the right size and fit. Key fit is another important factor here. There's little studs in there and some keys just don't fit. Uh, I've got a couple keys here and these holes aren't quite big enough. They're not round enough to fit over the stud. You can get around that by um, using the screw side and not putting them on the post side and that does work. And what I found helps was to put three keys on each side and then what you do is you screw down one side once you've got your keys attached so it kind of hinges open. Then you um, put it on the other side and kind of lever it over and put it on. Um, the manual suggested this and it really does work pretty well. And as I was mentioning this bottle opener here is a must not because I'm a huge drinker but because this is how you connect to other devices and uh, other key rings and things like that. Most of us have car keys that are big, uh, maybe a work fob for work or security door, things like that. So for me, that's important. Um, the downside is when you're using that, you can't hold it flush like this to open your bottle and get real leverage. So you've got, you can only open it kind of about halfway like this. It's a little awkward to open a bottle like that. And a quick size comparison here. I've got the KeySmart Pro here with tile integration on my dollar bill with the Convoy S2, common 18650 light, and a uh, 223 rifle round. So the KeySmart Pro features tile integration and it's really easy to set up. You download the app onto your smartphone and um, it guides you through the set up really easily and it uses Bluetooth. If you've lost your keys, you can just hit find here and it starts playing a tune and it kind of tells you how far away it is. As I pull it further away, I've got it kind of at arm's length. You can see that green circle decrease in size. And as I bring it uh, closer, right next to the phone, it goes full power. You can hit the button and silence it if you found it or it's causing a problem and 
easy enough. It does have pro features. You can change the ringtone and download different ringtones to your KeySmart. There is a mapping function, which I'm not gonna show you to kind of show your keys where they last were based on what the phone was. I had a little bit of problem with the Tile app saying that it uh, used a lot of battery power on my phone a couple times, but overall, not a huge deal. So I've got my phone in silent mode right now and say I've lost it in the couch or somewhere in my house and I don't know where it is. What you can do is you can double click the tile button here on your KeySmart and it instantly makes the phone ring. This is a feature you can disable if you want to. And as soon as you've opened the phone and touched it, you, it shuts off. So that's, that's a nice feature and something that I could see is useful for people. The range on this is maybe 30, 45 feet. It's Bluetooth after all. I uh, put this in different rooms in my house and tried to make it work and it could sometimes go through walls and other times couldn't, but couldn't go more than about two rooms over. KeySmart says that the battery is good for about 45 days. And as far as I know, it didn't have an alarm to let you know that the battery is low. Although the tile app says it will do that on your tiles. So I'd assume this is something similar. My conclusion is that everybody's keys are a little different. I like this idea of everything being more compact and in one place and noise free. But for me, I miss the ability to separate and downsize easily for certain situations like formal wear, going to the gym, or just when I need the car and a house key. I also end up having a few bulky keys and items like fobs, my car key itself, and I carry a little tiny screwdriver and light on my keys as well. And those don't really integrate with this as well. Yeah, you can put them on the other side of the key ring here and that is one option, but I miss that ability to disconnect. What I think I'll do, I'll probably have another house key made. I'll probably keep one in the tile and maybe one with my house key or one of my key bowl that I can easily clip on when I wanna just go with the house key and my car key. And uh, I see myself using this more in the summer when I'm wearing shorts and have less pocket space than in the fall and winter like we are now where I'm wearing jeans, I've got jackets and I have more pocket space. That said, the tile feature here is really nice. I'm not a person that loses my keys very often because I put them in a bowl right when I come home and they're always in the same place. But I could see if you put your keys in a backpack or a uh, bag of some type or switching between jackets often, how that feature would be really nice to locate those keys fast. Every day we've got our phones with us. That's just something that's too important to lose for most people. So it's really easy to find your keys and get, get on with your day. The plastic here flexes a little bit, as I said before, but it's not too bad and I, it seems pretty durable. I think it's gonna get scratched up and I think white's pretty good for that. Black or gloss I think would be worse. So it's a good color combination I think they went with and they do have a black model for this as well if you'd prefer. I think it'd be a neat addition if they sold maybe an aluminum backplate. I think I'd stiffen this up a little bit and it'd make it feel a little stronger. So let me know in the comments what you think about this KeySmart Pro and if you'd like it with your EDC and in your pocket. If you're interested, I'll have a link below to where you can pick it up. I think this would make a great gift, especially for someone who loses their keys often. And as always guys, thanks for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll make sure to catch you on the next review.